AI is here and as many people want to fear about AI taking over businesses and taking over even the need for creators or designers, I want to first of all debunk this myth and say that AI is here to stay but it's not going to take over the designer behind the screen. We still need that today more than anything and you have to have a good eye for design in order to sell things and create products that are going to sell on repeat. So before anyone comments that I just wanted to get that out of the way in the beginning of this video but I wanted to go over some new AI features I discovered in one of my new favorite softwares I've been using on this channel. I'm going to do a tutorial today on how I'm using these features in my business and how I would recommend a lot of you to use them as well because in the world of AI there is a lot of questions as far as can you really use AI artwork and resell it as your own? Do you technically have the rights to those images? With that being said, that is why today I want to talk about one software I've been using personally that has me not questioning any of those things. That software is Kittle. Kittle is a print-on-demand friendly usage software. So if you're doing print-on-demand, even if you're doing handmade or digital products, there is so many great things that go on with Kittle as far as its terms of use. If you purchase the pro plan or expert plan, you have print on demand unlimited commercial use. And that's including their AI tools and the AI generated graphics as well. So that's something to think about as you go forward in your business is using that have that print on demand friendly usage rights. That's one really critical and important thing as you go forward in creating any type of business online. And if you're designing with AI software, you need to make sure that that AI software is available for you to sell your products on repeat. Now, since we have that down, I wanted to go over two really unique features that have been on Kittle and have just recently been released and dropped with Kittle that I'm so excited to show you how I'm using it and how I'm gonna use it in the next year with my print on demand businesses. So without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into this video, guys. So the first feature that is not new to Kittle as far as the recent months go, but it's newly updated. So it's in a better version of the Kittle AI generated software where it has really improved and made leaps and bounds as far as generating really neat images. You'll see on the screen me generating a few different graphics with the Kittle AI generation software. One of my favorite prompts with Kittle AI, which just works so hand in hand with print on demand is putting in t-shirt graphic as far as my prompt. So anything that I type in, I put t-shirt graphic and it creates this really unique look of any type of SVG or clip art that I want to create with the Kittle AI generator tool and feature. So highly recommend playing around with this. There are so many ways that you can use this tool. Now, if you're still watching this video at this point, which I know a lot of you are, I do want you to listen to this next pro tip that I've been using as well with the Kittle software. The second feature of Kittle that's really neat is the AI background remover. So after you create your AI generated Kittle graphic, then let's say that maybe it created a background or maybe the background's black or it's white or it's a different color. You can easily just remove it with the AI background remover tool. Now this goes into the third tool of Kittle that is not AI, but this is my favorite part of the process with Kittle. And one of the reasons why I absolutely love this software so much. And this is what made me fall in love with the software, which is the vectorization tool. So after I remove the background, then I like to vectorize the image that Kittle AI has created. One of the reasons why I like to do this is because sometimes I just don't like the colors that maybe Kittle AI generated and I want to make it my own a little bit more. I want to make it more 
t-shirt friendly and printer friendly when it prints on a t-shirt and I want it to match the colors of my fonts. So in that process, I will vectorize my image. Now you can really play around with this tool because you can select how many colors you would like vectorized. So if you have a AI artwork or graphic that created maybe 10 to 15 colors on that graphic. Usually what I like to do is maybe I just want three colors or maybe I want five colors maximum in my image. And then I'm going to match that with my other fonts, as you'll see as I'm doing in this video tutorial as well. And this is something I really like to do with the image vectorization tool. It's just really fun to play around with and try all the different colors. Sometimes I like to go up to 10 colors. Other times I like to do five or under. Sometimes I like to do just one color, which is really neat. And it really gives that silhouette type of feel if you're creating any graphic. And this just really, really complements that Kittle AI feature. And that's one of the reasons why I love Kittle. And I will say it time and time again on this channel, because I know a lot of you have asked me, why have you switched to Kittle? And this is one of the major reasons why, because it's so unique having this vectorization tool. Going into the fourth feature of Kittle, that is another AI feature. And this is the final AI feature that's again, so unique to Kittle. And this recently just came out. So this AI feature is the logo generator tool, which is just mind blowing because this is really, really tough to do with AI, first of all, to make it make sense. And basically even other softwares that are competitors to AI tools, they haven't been able to make anything quite like this as far as creating logos for t-shirts through writing prompts. And you'll see me play around with this a few times, but there are so many ways that you can create a logo. And I know the next question may be, well, Heather, if, we're making logos with AI, does that mean that AI owns the properties of those logos? Now, what's really unique to Kittle is Kittle takes all the templates that you see on Kittle and they import your prompt into a template that matches up with your prompt. So out of their hundreds to thousands of templates that Kittle has already on their website, it will take one of those templates, import the phrase that you want onto a logo and then that will be generated with the AI software. So it's kind of a really neat feature because sometimes going through hundreds to thousands of templates, you may not find what you're looking for. And basically that's what Kittle is doing is they're selecting the templates that make the most sense for your prompt. And that's what's really, really neat about Kittle because there are so many high quality and just beautiful templates that are created by graphic designers on Kittle that you can import your phrases into and your own logos or anything like that. And after that, you can go back to the Kittle AI generation tool to create your t-shirt graphics and insert those with the logos that you create with Kittle. So there's just so much you can do with Kittle and these new AI features. And we're barely scratching the surface of what can be created with Kittle. But besides that, if you haven't already during this video, you can get Kittle down below in the links in the description. When I release these videos, Kittle does give me a one-time offer for a special discount to anyone who watched this video within the first week of publishing it. So don't forget to try to get that coupon as quickly as you can because it does usually expire within a week's time frame. Besides that, if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video so YouTube boosts it to more people and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I have many more tutorials coming out using this software and a lot of these features as we go on in these next few months. Besides that, I hope you all like this video and I will see you all in the next one here.